Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have another big grocery haul for you. This food is to feed our family of eight for two weeks. We like to go shopping twice a month. We don't have quite as much as we would usually have this time around because I'm trying to clean out our freezers and I still had a couple meals just laying around nights we went out for dinner or we're at somebody's house um, and I want to make sure that we use those up so I didn't get quite as much as we would usually get and also we are going to be going to the African store I actually meant to go a couple days ago but it just didn't happen we only did a little fill in haul so we still have to go to the African store. My mother-in-law is here for the week and so we are going to be cooking up a lot of Congolese food. So I just knew we wouldn't need quite as much as we usually do. But this is basically everything we've got to feed our family of eight plus Combo who is staying with us um, for the next two weeks. Let me show you what is all over my tables. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start over in the frozen section so I can put this stuff away. We've got some chicken breast. Like I said, we already have some things in the freezer. So I already have a bag of this, but we needed one more um, because we're gonna do satay chicken over the next two weeks. We've got some peas. We've got two bags of just regular fish fillets and a bag of chips. These are not at all good for you. We try not to buy them too often, but it's really nice to have fish and chips together <laughs> with some peas. So we got that. I have four bottles of tonic water. This is my guilty pleasure right now. Excuse me, can you put that back? <laughs> this is really good. Very cold with some lime juice in it and yeah, I just couldn't resist. So we've got four bottles of those. We have four juices that will be gone very quickly. Apple and raspberry and plain apple juice. We have a bunch of avocados that are very tiny. So I'm glad that I got eight of them because that won't go very far. But these are mostly to make um, guacamole with for when we have beans and rice and burritos and tacos and things. We've got a bunch of cucumbers. The girls have been really liking to just have whole cucumber cut in half and eat it as a snack. So we have a bunch of those. We have some pears, sweet potatoes that we use as side dishes for dinners a lot. We have bananas. We will definitely have to go back and get some more of those after about a week. We have two bags of peppers that we use in various dishes and also we have cut up veggies for lunch pretty much every day and those get used a lot for that. We have carrots also for cut up veggies. We have two things of broccoli. This is my broccoli lover. Do you love broccoli? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Granny Smith apples and two big bags of red apples. We already have still quite a few in our fridge, so I only got three bags this time. We have three big bunches of little baby oranges. My kids love these and they just gobble them up really quick. We have a big bag of potatoes. We have some little tomatoes, green grapes, red grapes, we have three big bags of spinach. I have a lot of kids and myself who love spinach. We cook it up and just put some butter and salt and have it as side dishes to go with our dinner or I have it in my breakfast sometime. We have coriander, that's to go with the satay chicken and also for homemade salsa with our burritos and beans and rice. We have some limes to go with my tonic water and also I use this in the marinade for the satay chicken um, it is really good it's like peanut butter and chili and lime juice and soy 
soy sauce and ginger. It's good stuff. That's what the ginger is for as well. Over here we've got onions, just some regular brown onions and red onions that we cook with a lot. We've got three butters for the next two weeks. We have two things of cheese. I usually would get about four to last us for two weeks, but I still have about one and a half in the fridge, so hopefully that'll be enough. We have some ham for sandwiches. I ordered one ham and one turkey breast, but they didn't have the turkey breast, so we've just got ham. Cream cheese to go with bagels. We have some salmon. One of the other things, dinners that I still have hanging around that we're going to try and use up is I already have another big full salmon side in the freezer. So I just wanted to get a little bit extra to tide us over. So that's, <laughs> that would not feed our family. So we've got extra of that. Pepperoni to go on our homemade pizzas. We've got two big things of Greek yogurt. Usually I would not get this much, but I've been finding that with making like homemade dip and on um, tacos and stuff, we're just going through a lot of that. So I got two big ones. We have some baby bell cheeses. These are really good for snacks. The baby Shiloh really likes snacking on those. And I like them. They're a good little protein snack and Ayana packs them in her lunch sometimes. We've got three packs of blueberries. We have some lettuce. We've got two bags of mozzarella cheese, homemade pizza stuff. We have some diced beef because Combo is here. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> And we're gonna make some African food. Um, we're gonna make like a Congolese stew. That's what that is for. So we've got two packs of that. We have mushrooms. That's for the pizza. I just am obsessed with mushrooms and like to have them in breakfast and on pizza and anything that I can put them on. Those are basically just for me. There's not very many other people that like them. We've got three more things of lettuce here. We have some spring onions, that is for our satay chicken, and also we're doing um, like a Thai curry soup that we're gonna sprinkle some of those on top. And that is it for this big table of food. Can you get down, please? Okay, over here we have three big eight packs of wholemeal tortilla wraps. We use these for lunch once or twice a week we make quesadillas or sometimes the kids just have like a ham and cheese wrap or some of them like to put peanut butter and jelly and wrap it up so we use these a lot for lunch um, and also for our burritos this is the nan bread we use to make our homemade pizzas obviously i am cheating because i didn't make the the dough base myself but this is just a quick and easy thing for me right now and it's really good that's what we're using we have some oil because we are out I don't use vegetable oil very much at all but it's used a lot in Congolese cooking so that's what that is for we have some olive oil because we were all out of that I use this mostly for making salad dressings we have some beans that will go in um, not burritos. These beans we throw into tacos in with the taco meat um, just to stretch it out a little farther. We have pinto beans that I cook up. That's what we use for our beans and rice. And then I already have one in the cupboard, so I usually use two. And then we use the extra to make burritos the next day. We have some salsa. All of this stuff, the coconut milks, I got some lemongrass paste just because it was so much cheaper than getting lemongrass stalks on their own, so hopefully that'll be good. But the coconut milk, the lemongrass, and the red Thai curry paste is for the Thai soup that we're doing. It is so good. There's mushrooms and ginger and lemongrass and curry and oh, it's just, it's so good. That's what we're going to have for the soup. 
Refried beans are for making our quesadillas. I know a lot of people just do them with cheese in, but we like to do with cheese and beans and a little bit of salsa. I just find it keeps little tummies full a lot longer. We have some mayonnaise. Usually we would need a bit more than this for two weeks, but I already have one. This is sort of our treat section. So we have some hot chocolate and some marshmallows. I let the kids have this about once or twice a week while we're doing homeschool reading, and it's just a nice treat to have on a cold day. We have two packs of ginger biscuits and some milk chocolate digestives. Are you okay? Go ask Combo. Go ask Combo. We've got some sea salt, because we were out of that. These are both for our pizzas. We have some organic chicken stock. That's for our soup, and just because I like to have those on hand and was out. We have some malt vinegar. I've never bought this before, but when you buy chips out from a store or a chip shop, they always put this on, and it's so good. So I got some of that. We have some honey. We use this to sweeten oatmeal or sometimes the kids will put it on cereal. We have some rice, some porridge oats just for oatmeal in the morning. Oh, there's the other salsa. We have a bunch of granola bars, which somebody's already gotten into. Um, these are not healthy by any means, but to throw in a lunch when we're going out, heading out somewhere to homeschool group or something, it's just easy. So we've got some of those. This was a request from my son. We don't usually buy box macaroni and cheese. Often for kids' lunches, we do some wholemeal pasta with pesto for lunch about once a week, but I decided we could get that this week and it would be quick and easy, just something to throw in the pot when we need to have a quick lunch. We've got some pretzels for snack, and we've got a couple cereals, some blueberry shredded beets, and some Cheerios. Okay, over here we have three boxes of um, free range eggs. We did just a little fill-in haul a couple days ago, and I already got two boxes, because usually we would go through about five or six within a two week period, but I only needed three, so we've got those, some granola, and then these again are just to throw in when we need to have a lunch on the go or for my daughter's school lunches. So we have some sweet and salty popcorn and some kettle crisps in various varieties. My kids are so excited to eat these. And to finish up, we have three loaves of bread. Also, when we went to the store a couple days ago, I did get two loaves of bread because this wouldn't be enough. And we just throw some in the freezer um, as long as we have space and it doesn't go bad. So we have like a seeded um, loaf of bread and then just two plain wholemeal loaves and two packs of bagels. I find that bagels just go really quickly and if I buy tons of bagels, People are going to eat tons of bagels, which is not a bad thing, but I also like them to eat some healthier things like oatmeal and eggs and stuff for breakfast. So I just got two this time. And then we have some antibacterial cleaning spray and some baby wipes. I got eight packs of these, but I can't find the other ones. So there's just three sitting here. Okay guys, so that's it. That is all of the food that we got. We will probably have to go back about a week in Actually, I'm gonna have to have Carlo pick up some stuff from the store tonight because I realized when I was filming this that I totally forgot to get any sort of milk at all and we need that. Um, we usually get oat milk or almond milk, just whatever non-dairy milk is on sale and I didn't get that at all. So we're gonna have to go pick that up and then about a week in, we'll probably need to go get some more bananas fruits and veggies and stuff like that. But apart from that, this is it. Um, I will put the total up on the screen somewhere here. Hopefully I'll remember to do it this time. The last video I said that, 
I forgot to do it and I'm too much of an amateur to have figured out how to do that after I already posted the video. So this time I will remember the total will be up here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.